the country now and the Ministry of Health has reinstated the mandatory wearing of face masks in confined spaces such as offices, supermarkets and places of worship. This as part of containment measures to curb the spread of COVID-19 in the country. Health Cabinet Secretary Mutai Kagwe has called on Kenyans who have not been vaccinated to do so immediately as the positivity rate reported to have climbed up to 12.6%. Lillian Muli reports on the latest surge of COVID-19 in the country. The country is facing a resurgence of COVID-19 cases three months after the Ministry of Health revised containment measures following a sustained decline in the number of COVID-19 cases. The government has reported a spike in the number of new infections with the latest report of 252 new infections in the last 24 hours. Over the last few weeks, the country has witnessed a steady rise in the number of new cases and a slow rise in the overall positivity rate from a weekly average of 0.6% at the beginning of May 2022 to a weekly average of 10.74 in the week ending the 19th of June 2022. The Ministry of Health says the increase in cases is so far not associated with increased hospitalization, with majority being managed under home-based care and isolation. The slow uptick of uh, vaccination rates that we have are from over 300,000 per day down to about 12,000 per day and now uh, likely dropping to about 5,000 uh, per day. Of concern is the fact that the COVID-19 vaccination rate has dropped. Kenyans are advised to get vaccinated. Those who have not been vaccinated should do so immediately. Those who have been vaccinated and need a booster shot should take the booster shots immediately. One is required to wear a mask when in contact with other people in close confined spaces such as PSVs, aircrafts, offices, supermarkets, marketplaces, and places of worship. The Ministry of Health has recorded 77 persons as currently being hospitalized, saying most of those in hospital are persons who have not been vaccinated. 8,578,000 people are fully vaccinated. Of these, 31.5% is the proportion of adults fully vaccinated. Vaccinations of persons between 15 and 18 is 1.5 million doses administered. In this age group, 340,000 are fully vaccinated, while 820,000 are partially vaccinated. Overall, 2.4 million Kenyans are partially vaccinated, while 404,000 persons have had booster doses administered. The government says no traveller will be allowed into the country unless they are fully vaccinated and fully boosted. All unvaccinated travellers arriving at any port of entry into Kenya for whatever reason are required to be in possession of a negative PCR test Results conducted not more than 72 hours before departure, regardless of the route of entry. And vaccinated travelers will also be subjected to a rapid antigen test at their own cost. Any person who tests positive to an antigen test is subjected to entry to a PCR test at their own further cost and are self-isolate again according to our guidelines, at their own further costs. A report by the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention on the COVID-19 situation on the continent shows that Kenya and Mauritius are among member states experiencing a sixth COVID-19 wave. Kenya is among five countries reporting the highest number of new cases at 1,591. The others are South Africa, Morocco, Ethiopia and Zambia. South Africa has the highest numbers at 10,385. Lillian Muli, Citizen.